Here we are looking at SRGE. What a monster this one's been. Uh, did this one a couple times already, but it has been a while since the last time I did it. And the reason I have the chart scrunched up this much is for a good reason, in order to figure out where support levels and so forth are. Uh, it's kind of one of these where we have to go back quite a bit of ways uh, because the price has made such a big move. So uh, maybe it's a little bit harder to see, but like I said, we had to scrunch up the chart for a good reason. I had a couple people uh, asking about and just alerting me to this one a few days ago when you know, and they were basically saying, hey, it looks like this upwards move uh, is getting ready. And shame on me, I wasn't able to do a video. Uh, but the bigger shame on me came in the form of I kind of forgot about it and just didn't pick up any shares or anything. So I am out left in the cold uh, while all, all sorts of people were, uh, you know, raking in the profits. But congratulations to you guys. Uh, what I want to do is just get things updated here. And uh, hopefully everybody can have an idea of what's going on uh, from the technical perspective. So let's first just start off, start off with uh, supports. And the big move that the chart did today, and I'm not going to say reason why the, the this huge run happened, uh, but you know, technically speaking, it does make perfect sense. But we had this resistance level here, and if we go way back here, you can see that uh, the bulls try to get above it two days in a row back here in February, and this level was up here at 0095. And those two days in a row, uh, the bears were able to knock it down. And then right here, uh, fast forward to September 10th. Price literally hit 0 0.0095 again. Bulls were not able to do it. And then even uh, yesterday, um, or excuse me, on, on Friday, the price went up and hit 0 0.0094. So not quite uh, 0 0.0095, but close enough, you get the point. And again, the bears knocked it back down. But today was different. The bulls were able to push up through there, and then you can see the massive explosion that happened. So uh, this 0095 was definitely a, a thorn in the side of the chart, but makes a good example of uh, how when the price can push through those kind of thorny levels, if you will, uh, big movements can happen. So with that being said, this now becomes the new level of support and uh, the, the newest one that's you know hasn't been a level of support in a long time as it's been resistance for basically as long back as you can see. So 0095 is going to be the new level of support. Um, after that, you have another level of support right here at 0078. That comes in the form of these three previous highs right there. So 0078, another level of support. But at the end of the day, however you want to slice it, the key level of support has been and will continue to be this purple line down here, which is the 50 day cent moving average. You can see that uh, ever since uh, the chart kind of came back to life here, uh, it got tested there. But from that point on, it's just been cruising uh, you know, up along there. So as far as the overall chart is concerned, as long as the price does remain above the 50 day simple moving average, which again is that purple line right now valued at 0044, then the overall chart will remain bullish. Obviously, if you're a day trader and you bought a pair, you could care less about that. But I do know there's lots of uh, players in this one that care about the overall chart and the overall kind of story of the company. In terms of resistances, not really much to say. Uh, the profit takers finally decided to step in up here at 0.0195. So that's the current level of resistance, and if the price can get some closes above there, then we kind of will go on a little kind of Easter egg hunt, looking for previous highs for resistance levels. But for now, uh, you know, 0 0.0195, that's the current level of resistance, and there's nothing else up there, as you can see, looking all the way back here, no other previous highs. So uh, that'll be the current level of resistance. If there are any other questions on the chart, please let me know. If not, I'd encourage you to check out bullwarriorstocks.com. If you go there and sign up for the free newsletter, you'll be sent a free ebook with a newsletter subscription. You'll get chart setups, trade ideas, educational pieces, all sorts of things from big boards on to penny stocks. So there's a good variety, something for everybody. It is all free. We've been making some good money together on our alerts. So I'd encourage you to go to the website, sign up, and see what it's all about. One more time, this was SRGE. Thanks for listening.